yes yeah uh, see uh, in this session uh, we i mean uh, to study the full docker it will take uh, 3 to 4 months okay but i will try to capture as soon as possible i will try to give to you hints so that you can further explore the topics see uh, i mean what is docker why we have landed in the docker okay see some 10 uh, 10 years back for i mean for people who are 10 years 15 years experience guy they will be they, they they will see they would have seen that uh, uh, I mean, in a, in, a, in, a, in one desktop, I will be installing all the softwares. Okay. So if, if the same software, if I want to roll out in 100 computers, okay, uh, uh, they used to go each uh, desktop engineer used to go to the each uh, desktop and they, they, I mean, they used to do the uh, uh, installations. So in that process, uh, like uh, it is not guaranteed that if I, whatever the installations that I have done and software is working in uh, machine A, will work uh, in the same way as in machine B and machine C. So there again, uh, in machine B, some uh, uh, there will be some uh, uh, issue like a DLL got corrupted or uh, support files got corrupted. So I mean, all these things, uh, this was very, you know, like uh, creating a cumbersome task to maintain the state of the machine in all the like a thousand machine okay so for that uh, for to uh, for that to make it easy i mean they brought the ghost concept ghost what is that ghost concept see i mean why take for machine a so whatever in machine a i will create a replica in machine b okay so that uh, the machine b will be the replica of a so i mean whatever the machine a the uh, like that uh, i will create a replica in machine b machine c machine d so this is called the ghost okay uh, so and uh, like uh, so in the in this process uh, uh, there were less uh, production issues like uh, like we maintained the same state of uh, state uh, level in, in all the pc so this was working fine for us for a couple of the years after that, uh, uh, like uh, a testing uh, team, they came and told that uh, like I want one, only one PC. So in one PC, there will be one, one, one OS. So uh, under two OS, if I want to do testing in uh, testing, which consists of uh, two, three, uh, two, three OS. So uh, to uh, to achieve that, uh, we uh, we introduced the concept called uh, like uh, VMware machines. Okay, so. Uh, VMware machines nothing but uh, there will be one uh, uh, there will be one uh, base level OS okay so upon that uh, we have to install a software called hypervisor and uh, uh, on the hypervisor uh, we can install uh, different type of uh, OS like uh, Linux machine Linux uh, Windows Macintosh but uh, the thing is uh, in, in uh, VMware it was very costly like uh, to prepare a machine uh, we used to take uh, one day okay and uh, there were um, multiple uh, vendors are there like oracle we can use oracle we can use a background so again uh, in this you know like uh, uh, there were uh, much memory spaces was there i mean memory uh, memory uh, change so uh, again uh, the it was not uh, i mean the machine was very very slow Okay, for example, you would have seen, you know, if, if you are working on a client project, the client will be in uh, USA and you will be sitting in India. So, like to get the access, uh, they, uh, they will create a, I mean, through VMware, uh, you will get the access. So, again, uh, the, the client machine, it will be very slow to access the VMware. Okay, so again, this is also there was a failure concept. Then the, uh, came a Docker machine. Okay, so like uh, the Docker, what is the Docker? See, Docker like uh, uh, we, I mean, uh, uh, we create a uh, the, the the whole uh, set of the VMware setup itself. Uh, no, we we create a like container. So in, it will they will run in the container mode. Okay, for example, uh, in a machine is there. Okay, in that machine, assume that uh, four or five software is already there. Okay, what I can do? Uh, in that machine, uh, you just create a um, image, image of that machine, okay, and store that image in uh, some uh, public repository. Maybe uh, like we, we have a, a Docker itself; it's having uh, its own uh, repository called a Docker Hub. Okay, so you create a image of the existing uh, machine, maintain that uh, image in uh, Docker Hub, so that uh, wherever you want, okay, you can uh, download and you can automatically create a container. Container is nothing but the running state of the Docker image. Okay, so I mean, uh, again, uh, uh, if it is already existing, we can take the uh, uh, create the image. 
or uh, like uh, we can also uh, create an image for example my assume that my software my software uh, requires uh, uh, centos first uh, my software requires centos and then uh, on the top like a uh, layer player first layer is centos second layer uh, will be my uh, tomcat training and uh, third layer will be my database uh, fourth layer will be my app so like that you know like uh, we have the layers layer one layer two layer three layer four so uh, like that uh, i mean for shooting those layer we can create we can uh, create a docker uh, file okay we have to write the code uh, i mean uh, blah blah uh, like this we uh, we can keep on creating the image before that uh, we would like i mean why we have come into the uh, containerization concept you can see like uh, in in vmware uh, we have been uh, it, it uses the hardware resources whereas uh, docker it uses only the OS. We, we require only OS. Like you can see the difference between here itself. In uh, we, uh, in virtualization, we, we need one host OS and hypervisor. Whereas uh, in uh, Docker, we need only one, OS, one host OS. And then the uh, rest of the things very easily. I mean, uh, we, use, uh, we, uh, uh, we require the Docker components. Before get, getting into the Docker in detail, let us uh, understand the differences, OK? like uh, uh, difference between the virtualization and the containerization see in virtualization we need the hardware resources okay we need the i mean uh, whatever the, uh, the 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 child machines we are creating in the uh, vmware it will be using only the parent machine okay same way uh, the docker uh, uh, like uh, it will not consume the hardware it will use only the os resource okay and uh, uh, to install the uh, vmware it's very very tedious Whereas uh, in uh, Docker, you have to run the image, that's all. And uh, 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 again, VMware is a heavyweight, the containerization is a lightweight. Okay. And uh, and then uh, VMware is a limited performance. You see, you cannot uh, like, uh, 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 expect a performance. The performance will be, will be very less and we uh, isolated. Whereas uh, in Docker, we, we don't have uh, such concepts. Okay, it's very, it's a lightweight. And uh, you just uh, pull the image and uh, you can uh, run the container. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, see the uh, Docker uh, um, architecture. See, I mean, for that uh, Docker, first we'll, we need the Docker file. Okay, now the Docker file, uh, we should create the, uh, from the Docker file, we should create the image. And that image we can we have to store it in the uh, Docker Hub. Okay. Uh, so what are the basic uh, three uh, come parts? That is Docker client, Docker host, and the Docker uh, registry. As you see, like the the Docker daemon. Docker daemon is the like the CPU of the Docker engine. Okay. So uh, like uh, uh, I mean, what are the components running inside the uh, uh, Docker daemon? There is images, container. Uh, these two things. It, it's very simple. Like uh, uh, first, you create the uh, you write the Docker file. From the Docker file, create the image. Okay, and uh, push that image to the in Docker registry. Okay, so the so that uh, we will have the permanent copy of the required uh, technological stack in the registry. Okay, uh, like whenever you want, you can pull that registry in the Docker uh, uh, demo. Okay. And uh, again, we have the commands. Uh, you can uh, uh, make that uh, first uh, download the image, and then you can run that image. So once if that run, if the image is run, it will be running as a container. Like uh, inside the container, uh, all the softwares will be uh, running. Okay. Like uh, for example, in a single uh, OS, we can uh, run multiple containers. Like each container can have different OS and different uh, applications. Okay, so this is the beauty of the uh, uh, container. So but nowadays, uh, every applications, uh, every applications uh, they are uh, running in the Docker, in the Docker uh, container format only. For example, uh, in olden days, will be like uh, will be in, uh, like if there will be a software where will will do the installations in the machines. Okay, that that will have uh, one user interface. There will be have some database. And uh, by, by it, uh, it will be current. Some business logics will be there. Okay, this is a two-tier architecture, architecture. Whereas uh, all the two-tier, three-tier architecture now it has been converted into micro or microservice architecture. 
So micro server, what is the micro service architecture? See, like uh, we have some uh, hundred uh, functionality associated with a uh, single application. Okay. Assume that if if one uh, uh, for, uh, functionality gets uh, uh, gets error. Okay. To rectify, we need to. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, for example, if it is a web application, we need to st stop the server. And uh, due to this, it is impacting the business. Like uh, other departments, they will not be able to uh, access the application if the uh, if the application is being accessed by multiple departments. So for that, uh, uh, that uh, monolithic uh, approach has been broken down into microservice architecture. I mean, each uh, assume that if in a software, if it is 100 functionality, all the 100 functionality will be divided divided into uh, a single service. Okay, the uh, whereas uh, like uh, uh, like service a service b service c like that service a and service b will be linked linked to each other okay again how this service is running so this service again it is run run in the container containerized format okay so that's what we are using mainly kubernetes kubernetes or ecs elastic container service in aws okay so again same way for i mean if there are 100 if you are creating 100 services all the 100 service again we will be creating 100 images using a docker file okay uh, and the, the, the those thing will be available will be, will be pushing to the once image is created will be pushing to the docker hub and from docker hub whenever required we can uh, download and uh, we can uh, able to uh, able to uh, uh use i mean i mean uh, even in the main microservice assume that uh, if one of the container uh, got corrupted okay automatically we can write scripts in such a way like uh, uh, automatically the uh, the docker uh, engine itself it will uh, download from the uh, docker which is the latest version okay and uh, uh, automatically it will uh, it will uh, uh, start the container and uh, whatever the functionality that has broken down uh, it will be continued so that is the beauty of uh, uh, container okay and uh, uh, as you see in virtual machines there are um, uh, like for example if, if you are allocating uh, 6 gb uh, you can see the, the picture here 4 gb will be used and 2 gb will not be used whereas in docker if you are allocating 4 gb all the 4 gb will be used so there is no memory loss in case of docker so docker is very um, lightweight and it's very easy to use and there is no much uh, memory and it's very fast also like uh, the entire C ci cd uh, uh, form i mean uh, uh, framework is entirely dependent on the docker okay as you as you see like uh, yeah, i mean whenever uh, assume that if you are applying a ci cd uh, that is a continuous uh, integrity and continuous deployment if you are uh, following that approach in the deployment uh, i mean uh, all the uh, we will be having that uh, all the repositories in the uh, as a, either as a image or as a uh, file in the git repo okay using jenkins server uh, we can uh, extract the concerned resource okay and uh, we, we can create that uh, pull that image and create a docker container and we can deploy it in either testing staging or production so that thing everything is done automatically and it's very uh, become very uh, easy to handle uh, same way like uh, you know, if, if you take for a like uh, uh, this is the overall uh, picture okay we have a docker file docker image docker container okay so docker hub so uh, from the docker hub we can deploy it in the staging staging server in a single staging server we can run multiple containers so each container uh, uh, for example container a container b container c so i can uh, run windows in container a we can, i can run centos uh, os in container b and i can run windows in con container c so in the same way i mean whatever is there in the staging uh, uh, same uh, replica we are maintaining in the production server also okay so uh, so now uh, uh, like uh, we, we have seen that i mean uh, from the monolithic we are using a ghost method for replicate for replicating the machines after that uh, we are using uh, vmware so in the vmware uh, we, we have we have we used i mean we need to use uh, hypervisor uh, software and then uh, uh, oracle uh, oracle uh, vm uh, software are there than vac grant so uh, like uh, after that uh, we are the third generation we landed in the docker so now the docker is very easy to uh, uh, use okay uh, now uh, like i will tell you i mean this docker you can uh, you can install in the in windows mode you can run in ubuntu you can run in any version of uh, linux okay but only thing uh, 
whatever the uh, uh, but the, the docker file we, if you write in ubuntu that is applicable in uh, 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 centos also okay so the docker file is going to be the same even for windows also the docker is going to be the same so now we can see how to install the docker in uh, uh, linux okay so like uh, i have shared you uh, uh, this thing uh, the i mean in chat window i have, I have shared you that uh, how to install the docker is already in the current machine i have installed the software just i am just uh, showing the uh, uh, i will not run okay but i will uh, just uh, I, will, I will try to mock okay so first is uh, if you run this command uh, i mean uh, some two three commands you need to uh, run to install the docker so if you if you run this command uh, some installations will happen okay this is the number one command and then uh second one second one is this thing uh, you, you can note it down okay so this is the second command so every command it takes only in seconds we can able to install so and the third command is this thing So this three, uh, whatever the command I showed you, uh, because since it is already installed, I'm just you know, I'm not running that command. So if you install the, this thing, uh, the, uh, the Docker will be, uh, I mean, the, you will get the space for the uh, uh, Docker to run. So after installing, you you need to st start the Docker, okay? And then uh, you once the st uh, start, you have to enable the Docker. Docker. So you, you you have to enable the Docker. So after enabling, now now I'm going to show the status. So whether Docker is running or not. Okay. So that command I will I will try to. You can see the Docker is running active. Okay. So uh, now I will uh, create a Docker file. I mean the, it's very simple. Okay. Like uh, I'm a trial, uh, I mean uh, guys see nowadays uh to install a software i mean uh, the ready-made software is not required instead you can use the image for example if you want to in install oracle if you want to install tomcat if you want to install any software okay that uh, required software is available i mean the required software in the in the form of image it is available in the docker hub uh, you can see in the i mean what is the, the docker hub so this is the dockerhub.com you have to create a credential whatever the uh the i mean if you have a software okay that software uh, you can convert as an image and that image you can store here store it here this is the repository okay so now here uh, you are seeing the uh, repository for M mysql so here uh, you can see the version also 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 like i have created image for 1.1 i have created image for 1.2 1.3 like that we can you can keep on keep on uh, uh, maintaining the versions also uh, okay so uh, now we'll, uh, let's see the docker file the, the only thing you should know the uh, how to write a docker file okay so like i will show one uh, sample uh, docker file uh, i mean uh, first thing for first thing uh, okay see like if you want to build a build a docker okay first of all uh, you sh you should uh, uh, create a directory called docker so inside the docker that the, the inside the docker only you can able to uh, create an image okay and you uh, if you are uh, trying to create in some other uh, folder it, it will not create uh, it will, uh, the, the, the parent folder should be should be the docker otherwise you will get error okay so now i am going to the docker here i'm having one docker file and the name should uh, like the name also should be like this only uh, the name should be docker file like if you uh, if, uh, and also in single docker uh, docker folder you can create where you can keep only one docker file and you can create only one docker uh, image okay so now i will uh, show you how to create a docker file so this is the docker file okay 
See, I mean, it's very easy. I mean, there are only some sound to a command says that the only thing like uh, you have to imagine, I mean, how to write a Docker file. The, for example, you know, to run your software, to run your software, what is the basic requisites? So same here, for example, to run my software, I need uh, first CentOS. So on the CentOS, I need on Tomcat. So inside the Tomcat uh, server, my database should be there. So like that, you have to decide uh, uh, the stage by stage, stage one, stage two, or layer, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. In the same way, you have to keep on uh, writing the, uh, um, the Docker file. So here I'm first uh, from um, from my SQL. So from command. So uh, this is the layer one. So first I'm trying to uh, pull out the image my sql images version 7.28 from the docker hub okay and then uh, uh, second uh, second like uh, in this folder uh, classes.sql i am trying to copy the, uh, the highlighted one uh, to inside the uh, docker container so i am trying to copy the file from the uh, external uh, from the uh, from the external host to the uh, yeah, host inside inside the container for so this is the this is a very basic uh, docker image okay so like this you have to create a docker image now i am just uh, running uh, running that uh, image say in the meantime i have shared you one um, document so inside uh, everything is there how to install docker I mean, like basic commands okay so like uh, you can see the docker version here so I'm, I'm using a docker version 20.10.15 okay so like that uh, you can uh, uh, you can refer various uh, commands now the i'm having my docker uh, docker uh, uh, docker file is there so to that docker and i'm just going to convert as an image okay so for that uh, we need the command already a command also i have shared you so i'm just uh, building uh, So you can see, see the, the dot is the current folder. So uh, like whatever the Docker file that is inside in my current folder, you please create a image uh, with this name. So by the MySQL colon 1.4, that is the uh, uh, image version. So already I have shown you the here in Docker Hub, I can see version 1.1. 1.2 1.3 now i am creating 1.4 okay uh, first you have to create the docker image first you have to create the docker image then uh, to for the docker image you have to create a tag okay and then uh, uh, you have to push that tag to the uh, registry so this is the uh, concept okay so now i am just trying to uh, create a like a, uh, see uh, like uh, like in previous version 1.1 1 .1, 1 point assume that if you are you are pushing to the first time okay 1.1 1 .1. so next time when you go to 1.2 if there is any difference in the build between 1.2 and 1.1 I mean it will not show like it it will it will image will be created automatically whereas same if 1.1 1 .1 is there same version if you are same image you are creating again as 1.2 then it will show that they already existing like that now, now you can see if uh, successfully we have created okay now i'm going to create the tag for this one point four one point four so first i created an image then i'm just uh, to to that image i'm uh, just uh, trying to uh, attach a tag so tag as a tag has been attached now i'm trying to push that uh, tag to the uh, re repository okay so here uh, here it's will come and is there you can take from here it's see it's preparing all uh, layer already exists. Since the content, I'm just using the same content. That's why it is getting layer already exists. So I'm now have pushed. Now we, let's uh, go and see and see that uh, uh, Docker registry and just uh, see. It. Now it's showing 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. .1 so after refresh, it, it should show 1.4.
just wait time it's refreshing so now you can see 1.4 okay so like that uh, you can create uh, docker images and uh, you have to create the tag and then only you have to push okay so now i am just uh, trying to uh, like assume that uh, already some image is there now now i want to create a mysql uh, uh, i want to create a container container for uh, mysql okay so uh, normally what we will do we will uh, run the installation commands i mean uh, that is uh, that has become the old fashion now you just uh, pull the docker image and create a container and then uh, you uh, get in, in inside the container and you can work uh, as normal i mean as you uh, as you install the normal software how you work in the same way uh, nowadays the software are, are available in the form of images in the docker hub you just download create a container and get a, get inside the container and you can work as normal okay so now i'm just uh, trying to create a container for mysql so once that container is created i will, I will go inside the container and i will create a database and i will create uh, as uh, as normal okay uh, so that uh, even if, if it is corrupted again i can uh, like i like i uh, as i already have the image copy like uh, very easily i can restore and i can continue with my regular process okay now i am just going to uh, create the uh, like first of all i would like to see whether already in any container is running uh, for okay uh, before that uh, i have created image okay so and i want to see what are the list of images so for that uh, the command is docker image docker image ls Imageless. So you, you can see the Docker images. Uh, th this much uh, images uh, I have created. Okay. So in that, uh, assume that uh, like already it is there in my system. Okay. So that is why I'm uh, known. I mean, uh, for me, not required to pull. So if you want to pull also, you can write uh, Docker like uh, Docker Docker pull. Uh, uh, type the image name MySQL version 1.2 first of all docker before pulling pulling the image it will see whether in the local machine that copy is available if it is not available then it will pull from the uh, image for that which is from that is from the uh, docker registry directly okay now i am trying to create a container so first of all uh, i would i want to see whether already uh, i mean what are the containers that is running already okay so for that command is docker ps minus a uh, currently there is no container you can see uh, it's uh, empty okay now i want to create a container for mysql so uh, for that uh, i'm just uh, trying to trigger the command so the container is created okay now i want to see the uh, the, the status So it is taking a bit time. Okay, see, uh, you can see like eleven second before eleven second, uh, my container has started. Now the uh, like the, the starting process uh, it is in progress. So again I will trigger that, that command. So again it is uh, starting. So like that uh, whatever software you want to no? like uh, you can instead of uh, uh, installing uh, direct parent uh, software you can. Uh, use the image image version create a container get inside the container and you can uh, use that software okay so again you see so now it is showing healthy this means it is in the running position see you can uh, you can see it is healthy this means it is in the running position so now my container container is uh, running okay now second uh, step uh, so uh, now I uh, now I'm uh, like uh, once again Docker run. Now I, I'm going to uh, the container is running. Now I want to get inside the container. Okay, so for that I'm just uh, patching the command. Once again, there's some problem. Let me kill this container. 
like i can uh, see uh, like while creating the container directly i can use the mysql uh, user id and password okay so th this will create only a, 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 a like a, a ordinary container after that i need to use my log credential login so instead uh, uh, while creating the container itself i can supply the credential how to do i will show you now i'm just uh, for that uh, we, we need to kill this container i'm just killing this container before that we have to ensure that container uh, should be should not be in their run mode it's taking a bit time so generally uh, uh, while you i mean uh, if the if the container is in the running state while killing please be very careful like before killing any container you have to check whether uh, uh, like if you, if you're already using the container okay don't kill that will create a drastic result for you in time a duplicate session So this much time. Yeah, I think it has closed. Yeah, okay. Oh, let us see whether any uh, con uh, container is running or not. So all the commands I have given in the so already the this container container is running. What I can do? Docker stop. Uh, I can stop. I, I can start the container. I can stop the container. Okay. So I'm just this is the container ID. I'm just trying to stop. Because I don't want uh, that container. Okay, so it has been stopped. Now I am just using different command so that uh, uh, I am just uh, running the latest version of uh, my MySQL and uh, uh, while login itself, I am using uh, this thing uh, user in password. So I am using this, this thing. Okay. Now uh, this container, what is the container ID? So the four second, the, the, the highlighting the highlighted one that is the running con container now now i need to check uh, whether it has been uh, started uh, fully started fully docker ps iphone okay well, again it is starting yes yeah Okay, now it has uh, started. Okay, so now uh, uh, firing the now I'm, I'm con container has been created. Now I want to get inside the container. So for that uh, we have to use this command. Okay, Ex execute. So uh, uh, see. Uh, the, see, I'm, the, I'm using this is CentOS. Okay, CentOS. I'm using Bash, Bash, uh, Bash kernel version version. So that's why I'm putting bin. Okay. Uh, whereas uh, uh, if it is if you are using uh, Ubuntu, no need to put a slash bin slash Bash. Uh, it is it is enough if you put only slash Bash. Okay. So now I have to get into the child shell. Now I'm just uh, I, I I want to get into the uh, I mean now I get into the bash shell no bash shell I I, I want to get inside the um, MySQL uh, shell so for that uh, the command is this thing okay now I'm entering the password okay so you can see MySQL so but now I will create a database here. 
so i said this thing i have uh, i have used the existing image version so that the image version i have floated here as a container and from container i just uh, get into the mysql uh, child shell okay now i'm just uh, creating the uh, one database see database has been created now i want to uh, uh, list what are the databases or otherwise i, I will i will i have created database now i am just going to use the created database okay so now i am now, now the current database is uh, my database name is my database now i am just uh, creating uh, one uh, table okay so now i have created the table also now let us uh, see the uh, what are the tables inside okay so this is the my table okay, author my table okay now uh, if you want i can uh, show you the uh, the structure of the table also okay so uh, the, so now i am inside the mysql database now i can do anything okay so this is the beauty of the uh, docker okay so again uh, uh, reiterating my concept so uh, those days ghost and uh, vmware were, were there that has been replaced by docker docker is nothing but uh, for example if I, I, I like if my software installation requires some seven to eight steps including including the technological stack so so for that uh, you create an uh, docker um, uh, by docker file okay while well, docker file you have to uh, st step by step like uh, manually how we will go step by step in the same way like a layer by layer you write the docker commands okay and then create a docker image and then push that image to the repository uh, and then whenever you want to you, you want to float the container you can uh, download from the uh, uh, docker hub repository like before downloading uh, the docker engine will check whether that uh, requested image is there in the local pc if it is there it will not uh, download if it is not there it will download and then you convert the docker image as a container and uh, using the container uh, you can uh, get into the uh, required um, uh, shell for example for, for me this is mysql shell so i have get into the mysql shell and now my database is ready and i can uh, do whatever you want whereas the uh, same thing if i if, like a uh, like a normal uh, classic method if you would have fall if i if you would have uh, followed uh, i mean uh, installing mysql server itself it will take some uh, like uh, if it is enterprise edition it will take some 20 to 30 minutes now the, this thing uh, i have finished in seconds less than one second i have created my mysql uh, machine ready uh, using the docker image okay so th that is the power of docker, docker. Uh, when you uh, speak the when you speak uh, ci cd framework okay and, uh, and devops and uh, microservices everything like kubernetes everything is running on uh, in the containerized mode using docker uh, images okay so like i have shared you the pdf so here uh, i mean uh, first of all you should uh, i mean these commands are very very easy like uh, you can uh, uh, you can run a docker you can stop a docker you can uh, see the uh, for example if a container is a container uh, like if, if any issue comes in the container okay you can uh, even uh, 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 rectify you see, you see the logs okay like i will i will i will show you for example one small log like uh, you uh, you can see the logs uh, uh, for a running container you can see the logs also so i can once again where is that logs So that's very very important. Okay, to, to for for troubleshooting, you know to like uh, you can kill a container, you can start a container, you can run a container, you can remove the image. Okay, in the same way, like you can uh, remove all the running uh, running uh, containers, you can uh, re remove the, all the existing uh, uh, images. You can see the logs. Once again, uh, let me see that logs. Once again, yeah, see the Docker logs and container ID. Okay, so if, if we like, uh, I'm just uh, coming out, exit, put exit to come out. Okay, so um, first, uh, like, assume that uh, I want to see the list of containers. Okay, 
so this is the it will show the list, list, list of container now now it is healthy up this means this container is running i want to see the logs of this container okay so for that it's very easy the command is uh, docker logs okay docker logs and at the end you you uh, this is the container id see it will see the see like uh, you can see the uh, ready for connection okay so in that uh, my, uh, my 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 sql is running so in this way if uh, if your container is not running okay you can uh, 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 inspect the log and you can find out what is the uh, error or you can trouble troubleshoot okay so like i have given you one document so in that uh, we have what basic uh, what is docker difference between docker and uh, vmware and then few docker commands okay and then uh, uh, I mean, how, how to, I mean, a Docker file, I, I've shown you two commands uh, for write, uh, writing the Docker file, that is from and copy. So apart from from and copy, you have other commands also, like uh, add, okay, environment, uh, entry point, okay, like uh, these things, uh, for example, uh, like uh, to, to learn Docker, it will take uh, one month, okay, so th this is the basic commands you have seen, you can go through the document, see, like uh, while I'm uh, speaking the uh, Docker, See, so Docker will like uh, will like for example uh, we will do only minimum minimal actions. Whereas if you have uh, some ten to twenty actions, okay, where you you require uh, two uh, two Docker file, uh, two Docker file merged with each other. So uh, that thing uh, using uh, this uh, uh, plain Docker uh, it will not work. For that uh, you have to uh, another concept is there Docker Swarm, okay, S W A R M. Docker Swarm is nothing but uh, the, in that file you can uh, write uh, uh, four to five Docker file in a single uh, single file. I mean, in that uh, you can you can have uh, your front end, your uh, web server running, and then you can connect uh, your web server and the uh, database. So using link. So all these things that is a different concept uh, called Docker Swarm and Docker Composites. Uh, but again. Uh, Again, like a, it is a failed concept. Okay, like if uh, after this Kubernetes and microservices come, the Docker Swarm and Docker Compose, no one is no one is using now. Okay, like uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's very handle difficult to handle the uh, uh, application, and uh, since it is very lightweight, okay, sometimes uh, uh, it it, uh, it it gets corrupted. Okay. And uh, if you have a, 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 a application where 100 interfaces has been connected uh, to that uh, main application, so those uh, scenarios it is very difficult to uh, to do using Docker Swarm. Instead, uh, uh, we are handling those situations in the microservices. That is in Kubernetes. Okay, again, if you come to Kubernetes, again same thing. You have to create a Docker file, Docker image. Or you have to run the container. Uh, I mean, the, the in this case uh, in Kubernetes. The container will be running inside the pod. Okay, uh, what is Kubernetes? In next session, I will take uh, the brief, uh, I mean, uh, detailed session where I will create a cluster, Kubernetes cluster, and uh, there I will write some Docker file. There I will write some uh, sample application. That application uh, will have uh, one uh, uh, one Tomcat and one MySQL. You will you will enter, like I will cre create a screen where you will enter some information. It will be stored in the database. Okay, uh, so uh, in Kubernetes uh, again. Uh, Containers will be running inside the pods. Okay, uh, uh, like uh, what is pod? What is container? What is the link? Uh, those things uh, we will discuss in the next session. I hope uh, this session uh, you would have you would have understood. If any doubts, uh, you can ask me. Okay, friends, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. So I have completed my session on Docker. Hello. Hey, hi, Nith uh, uh, Nithan. I have one uh, query. Yeah, yeah. So tell we, me. Yeah, we saw like exe a command na, to go inside in Docker. So like, yeah, yeah. when we use attach and in exes, so is there any difference in this both command or? Yeah, yeah. See, well, the the thing is uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, for example. So you you can see like my MySQL, you like that MySQL child container was running, correct? Correct. Okay. What I can do, I can in this mode, I can I can detach. 
and i can attach for example one one container container is running okay so in, uh, inside the container my sql shell is running okay so what i can do i can uh, in the running container i can attach and i can detach okay okay what point uh, I, i have given that so again if i take that will go for another one hour okay as as i as i told you you can uh, start a docker you can stop a docker okay and the uh, same way a container you can uh, you can uh, run a container you can uh, attach and you can you, you can i mean you can run the container in the attached mode you can run the container in the detached mode okay so uh, you, uh, like uh, if you are inside the container if you want to come out uh, you have to uh, press control uh, uh, control pq even uh, how to come out of a container so those things uh, everything i have i have given in the document if, if you see the document very clearly that is uh, enough for you to write a docker file and uh, uh, work with the containerized mode okay oh. so main thing docker is like the basic commands i have given you the main challenges you, you have to learn how to i mean you have to learn how to write a docker file mm -hmm. that is the challenge here that is that, that is that is your expertise so i have given uh, some uh, docker commands like a cmd entry point okay so those things uh, you can give even examples also is there so uh, so the, uh, if you learn this thing this is enough and uh, straight away you can uh, jump into the uh, kubernetes whereas in between there is a concept is there as i told you docker swarm and docker compose that is that is bit bit uh, complex but that is a failure mode application uh, getting corrupted uh, if i create a uh, container using uh, docker uh, com compose file okay so for that only we have uh, kubernetes that is running in a microservice architecture oh. got the point yeah so so in the document i have given you that uh, basic uh, docker commands also see the thing is uh, docker uh, in one day it will not come okay you have to spend at least uh, three months such a yes, such a huge uh, docker subject is uh, the subject is so vast it will take you at least uh, three months hello yeah tell me yeah i have one question yeah sure so uh, we are building docker images so what type of images can we build we can build application libraries something like that everything everything see uh, 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 i mean uh, uh, for example i'm i'm having one application okay assume that already already some uh, that application is running from fast to 40 years assume like that okay uh, i want to create uh, that into image what i can do like uh, in, in the machine uh, in, in the in the machine wherever it is uh, running okay go go in that machine you create a image of that machine uh, or uh, you you create a image of that uh, whatever the, uh, the the software is running go to, go to that path create a image so from and, and then you copy that image to the docker hub and uh, you can uh, in, in any machine whenever you want you can uh, uh, download down, download that image and you can uh, uh, create i mean uh, float that image into into the container in this way you can yeah, like uh, assume that if you have old software if you want to convert that into container in this way you can do you got me point okay or otherwise uh, if the software is already running uh, i mean no my software is uh, currently i am just uh, developing one so uh, for that uh, you can write a uh, docker file okay so like uh, the the whole the whole setup the the, the whole uh, the whatever the prerequisite that is required for your software to run that thing you have to write in a docker file as a layer by layer like uh, while well, uh, installing you you will be you, mean, you will know the, what is the first step what is the second step what is the third step so accordingly you have to write the uh, docker uh, file layer by layer that uh, but uh, if your application is very robust and uh, so uh, like uh, two three four uh, interfaces required so then you have to go to the docker swarm this docker file will not help you got the point yes yeah thank you is any other doubt 
okay if no doubt uh, we can uh, hope uh, uh, see i have given you that uh, how to install the docker and basic commands okay you can copy from the chat window and i have also shared you the uh, pdf you can just go through the pdf it's uh, given very clearly okay you can uh, very easily master the but the only thing it is practice unless until uh, you practice uh, uh, for at least uh, two three months it would be very if, if you are uh, if you want to have a confident in writing the docker file please practice and uh, there are uh, 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 sample docker files are there how to write a docker file okay it is available you can get master but uh, uh, for example uh, there are uh, uh, like uh, uh, for example if i if i want to create a docker file if i want to uh, if i want to copy a file from s3 bucket to directly inside the container we can uh, use uh, that is also possible the for that we are using called add command so using add command uh, if a if a container is running inside the container i want to copy a file from s3 bucket or zip file that is also possible okay and uh, as you if your docker is running uh, memory is very less so I, again i can uh, attach a uh, memory to the uh, uh, running docker uh, uh, docker engine you can you can add a volume you can decrease the volume okay everything has been discussed in that pdf so you can go through and you can uh, uh, make yourself a master in uh, writing the docker file okay so now i'm uh, ending the call thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.